Primer for USS Independence, uh, CVL-22, World War II, first night, all-night fighter carrier in the Pacific. And uh, we're on the hangar deck of the uh, Intrepid on uh, Memorial Day 2001. You were telling me that you sailed on a ship much like this one. Yeah, a little smaller, the first CVL. Uh -huh. A little smaller than this, it's about 600 feet long. And in the background there, you'll see the Battle of Lady Gulf. We were down there. Where were you stationed? Where were you on this ship? Oh, the radar, the radar uh, room. You can point. Yeah. That, the radar room would be. Uh, Go ahead. Point right in front of my camera. In the island structure. Uh huh. And uh, down below, one deck below the. Uh, island structure, that's where the radar room was, and uh, the living quarters were just forward of that uh, mount there, the first planes, below the water line. And this is where we took the torpedo at uh, the battle of the night before they invaded Tarawa. We it. took one, three fish, only one of them exploded in my compartment, but unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately, shall I say, I think fortunately, I was there at general quarters about six o'clock, and a couple of Bettys come in low on the water, weren't picked up to, they were over the horizon, and uh, one fish exploded, the other two bounced off. Where did the torpedo hit? Over on the uh, port side. Well, let's go around there and take yeah. a look. side here, uh, just after the island structure, and uh, we had a radar unit here, and they had buckets on the side there, and it, the explosion blew the, uh, the gun bucket with the 40 millimeter uh, gunners in there, who was up and over, and over the ship. We lost about uh, 18 feet, and uh, when we buried them at sea, I was on duty on the open bridge with the radar scope and uh, I watched them uh, slide them, put them in a loaded canvas bag loaded with a five inch shell and then uh, they said the prayers, they played taps and they lifted the barrier and they slid right into the sea and I saw 18 bodies slide into the sea. First and only burial of sea I ever saw.